Thank you for joining me here in the Vexus plant. We're on the uh, finish assembly line where this DVX model has just been joined to the Vexus trailer that we built down another line simultaneous to building the hull itself. It's a perfect place to show you the hull design and some of the features that we incorporated into its manufacture and design. One of the things you'll see is the fork design and adding this bit of real estate, we were able to flare the hull more. That flare just helps ensure that the hull is as dry as possible. Also, as a part of that, we've built in the reverse chine. The chine is where the hull and the side meet and that's reversed down so that it'll throw the water down into the lake. Another important portion of that is the hull design itself, which is a deep V going forward. We've made it in a convex manner, again, to soften the ride, get the water back down into the lake. As we go back, you'll see a, a extreme flare on the side of the hull. That gives us a lot of deck space inside the boat where you're fishing from, but it also flares it out and again, helps to dry up the boat. As we move aft on the boat, we can see that We've incorporated a knuckle or another spray deflection just below the rub rail so that as water tracks up the side, it is thrown back and down as well. This overall deep V design that we can see here from the shine all the way up to the top of the gunnel, it gives us added depth inside. So below the cockpit floor, we're able to get more fuel, larger fuel tanks on the center line. Those are running longitudinally. They're baffled so that it can minimize the slosh that's in the tank from fore and aft and from side to side, which gives you more control, keeping the center of gravity uh, more stable. Also inside the boat, we have battery storage under the cockpit. That gives us that extra room inside the boat to do all of the things that are necessary. These are really highly specialized fishing machines and every ounce of space, every inch of real estate has a purpose, and we think we've used that to the maximum inside this rig. Another strong consideration on this type boat is to be sure that we have maximized the space in the back because we can have shallow water anchors, quarter starboard, in some cases both. So a lot of uh, equipment needs to be installed here in, uh, in various configurations. So we wanted to make sure that the point of ingress is as high as we could get it back here. And so you'll notice that this is one level plane all the way across. Keeping this area as high as possible obviously will minimize the opportunity for water to ingress or come inside the cockpit of the boat. And that's why that's so important. The splash well you'll notice also, uh, it doesn't have a basin. In other words, it doesn't hold water here. It sheds off immediately. So that'd be a real quick draining process when you do get some water over the back. And because this is higher, then it won't go on inside the boat. As part of this design, we were able to incorporate a ladder into the transom. This ladder can be deployed easily from inside or outside the boat. It's in a stainless steel container, so it's waterproof as far as uh, water getting into inside the boat. It also has another safety feature that when this is deployed, there'll be a light come on on the dash telling the operator that this ladder is deployed for safety reasons. I wanna thank you for joining me today as we've walked through some of the basic design principles and attributes of this new DVX fiberglass product. We're very proud of it, I hope that shows through. We'd love to talk to you more about it. If you would like to contact us, Facebook, the website, call us. We love to talk about it. This is what we do, we're passionate about it and uh, there's nothing we enjoy more than just visiting with you and getting you up to speed on why we think that the DVX is a very awesome product and certainly the best of class on the water today. So until then, stay in touch. We'd love to visit with you about our product and thanks for joining us.